Hey guys, this is Bobby the Fish 123 here with a LEGO Star Wars review. The Clone Turbo Tank. Ages 9 to 14, model number 8098. 1,141 pieces. Um, it's part of the new Clone Wars series. So, first things first. <clears throat> the instructions. It's actually two booklets. There's the first one. And the second, there's actually two of them. Um, pretty fun build, kind of hard with a lot of Technic and the wheels were a lot of repetition, not as fun, but pretty good set. Um, so on to the minifigures. You get six minifigures in the set, two clones. Um, it does come with full armor, but I guess the instructions only want you to put on that much, so I'll just do that. They do come with blasters. Um, new bad guy, Cad Bane. He has two blaster pistols and then a huge, like, sombrero. I like him a lot. Um, Ahsoka Tano, not that great. Um, I already had her, so not a huge fan. And a new minifigure, um, Ayla Sakura. Ayla, Isla, whatever that is. <laughs> um, she has double-sided torso and kind of these, um, like, tail things in the back. Blue lightsaber for her. Um, one of my favorite Jedi, just because she's unique. And then uh, Anakin Skywalker. I hate him. I already had two or three, but I guess it wouldn't hurt the set. Um... Away with you, away with you all. Um, came with a little ATRT walker. It's actually really tiny. It's even smaller than the old ATRT or the um, Clone Scout walker. But the gun goes up and down and side to side. So that's pretty cool. And the legs do move. You get um, like all the joints. Yeah, all the joints move different amounts. Um, but it can walk, you can make it, you can pose it like it walks, and it does fit a clone. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll show that later. And then there's this, which is kind of like in the front of the Republic gunship. You have this. Um, I didn't like it, but I guess, again, it won't hurt the set, so why not put it in? And then, main part is the clone turbo tank itself. Um, the whole thing, okay. Just do a quick 360. Just the back with the guns, doors, all that lovely stuff. And then there's the front. Um, I guess I'll start with the front. It's kind of like on the first one, there's a turret on the front. I like it better because it actually, um, it seats a clone. You can get him to sit in there. And then the gun goes up and down. Um, it does do 360 degrees around, which is nice. Move your clone. Whatever you want to do. Um, and then, kind of like the old clone turbo tank, that goes up. These go out to the sides, and then that goes down. And voila! There's your cockpit. It has two chairs, some antenna. Um, you can fit a few guys in there. So we'll close that up. Um, and then this is another cool little thing. It's a gun rack, so it holds four guns. It came with two blaster rifles and two just plain blasters. Um, so plenty of guns for your clones in the cl clone turbo tank. And it works on the other side, too. Um, on top, you get a flick-fire missile launcher, which is... Okay, I mean, I don't think it really flicks that well. Whenever I flick it, the whole thing pops off, like so. So I don't like that very much, but I guess it's okay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, the doors, like on the first one, the doors do open. Um, like that. And I'm not sure what these are supposed to be. Maybe handles or guns, I don't know, but... Personally, I like the clone turbo tank better without it, so I always just take those off. 
And now you can open the doors. Same on the other side. Um, so yeah, it doesn't have the spot for the troops to stand like the old one. But what is cool is that if you take your walker, the little ATRT walker, if you fold the gun down like that, and then um, actually on the back there's these little green things, and they slide right in like that. And now you can close it up and drive around with it. Um, and then on the other side, as you may have guessed, that's where this goes. Um, same general idea, that's pretty cool. It folds up. Um, nice thing, there's a handle. So it's kind of like on the ATTE or the ATOT. Uh, you do get a handle. I like it. And it does work like the other ones in that it does work with the dropship and the dropship can hook through it. So now you can have your ATTE, your ATOT, and your clone turbo tank under your dropship. Um, put that down. Let's take a look at the back. Uh, like on the old one, there is this little gun. Um, I think it looks better now. There's lights here and here. Um, and these go up and down. These guns, I don't know what they're supposed to be. Let's call them guns. Guns, guns, guns. Um, and it folds up, unlike the first one. That's what I like about this set, is that almost everything moves. And kind of like the front cab, you have a back cab. A little more space, but two chairs and some antennas, um, fold that up, um, the wheels are a little different than the first one, there's still, you know, five wheels, and they did keep the springs in the middle ones, so like that, um, so the middle ones can go up and down by themselves, but the others, let me pick it up, the others still kind of freely bounce and jiggle and move, um, so it's okay, and like the first one, if you tilt it, it can turn, so, like that, or can go away from the camera, so you can gradually turn it using that kind of method, um, overall, good set, I really like the turbo tank, but, um, the only thing keeping it from being a 10 is the lack of minifigures. I didn't like how it's only two clones for a big set like that. I would have liked it a lot better if they'd put um, maybe four or five clones and then a droid to go with. Um, oh, I'm forgetting his name. Whoever this is. Because, <laughs> um, I mean, he's a cool bad guy, but he just needs some droids with him. So overall, 9.5 out of 10. Um, oh, last thing, the box. The box is pretty big. That's the whole thing. Um, that's the front, just shows the set. And then the back. Other sets, um, Palpatine Shuttle, Grievous' Starfighter, Slave 1, and that just shows the general features of the set. So, yeah, good set, 9.5. It's really big. Um, I don't know if I said this, but it's about just a hair bigger than the old turbo tank, and it's more expensive, but it's also more pieces. It's a lot sturdier. I like it better than the older one. Um, cool thing is, if you pick it up like this, it's actually really sturdy. So, like that, I can do that and nothing will fall off. Like that, a few bits fell off, but, um, like you can see the wheel there. But it's actually really sturdy, so that's a good thing. It's like a big plus for the set. Um, this has been... Yeah, I guess I'm done. <laughs> this is Bobby the Fish 123. More Lego reviews coming soon, and also Left 4 Dead gameplay coming. So, see you soon, guys. Bye. Bye.